we've been working with this molecule since 1991, right? And, and you got to have perspective on this. There's a molecule. Uh, and, and by the way, this is what we're talking about. I'm holding up a model of a molecule. The molecule looks like a soccer ball where the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms. <clears throat> The molecule was discovered in 1985, and the three scientists here in Houston at Rice University, and the three scientists who discovered it won the Nobel Prize in 1996. My lab started producing it in 1991. We are literally the oldest and longest manufacturers of this molecule on the planet. Um, so we are the foundation. And then you go uh, fast forward to the study. They actually, originally it was a toxicity study. They thought the molecule would be toxic. Instead of being toxic, the test subjects that they gave it to, in this case it was Wistar rats, lived 90% longer than the control group. That was published mid-2012. My lab provided the material. My lab is mentioned in that study. So it really is the lab. If you want to talk about carbon-60, carbon-70, uh, nanotubes, you want to talk about ESS-60, you want to talk about not for human consumption, like uh, batteries, tires, photocells. If you want to talk about for human consumption, like ESS-60 and olive oil, MCT oil, avocado oil, we are the lab. <laughs> it's us. One of the things that one of the benefits that I think that we have by being the lab is we actually have the equipment to test the product, right? So there's companies out there. And we, at one point, we, uh, in the middle of the pandemic, we purchased 22 products off the market. We tested them uh, to understand what the concentration of that C60 was. Uh, and, and, and it was something, the results were something that reinforced our mindset about let's keep the consumer safe. Let's keep them, let's keep talking about ESS60. Uh, and the results were that 22 of the products we tested, only one had the concentration in it that uh, that they said they had in it, right? So the label said this, and we tested it, and they actually had that concentration. Of course, this excludes ours because we can test it. We actually, we actually test every batch multiple times. Other companies have a hard time doing this because they have to outsource it. They don't have the equipment in house. And even when you try and get it to get people to test it outside of your facility, most test facilities don't know how to test it because it's just not that that well used. It's not that well studied uh, from the testing perspective. Like, well, it is. You can find lots of uh, kind of research institutions that know how to work with the material. But to find a commercial lab that does typical studies uh, and testing, they just don't know what to do with it. In fact, they they tend to come back to our lab and if they're going to get all the way into it, they buy what's called a chromatography column from us because we actually are a distributor of the best chromatography uh, columns for identifying how much of the material you have in your particular in your particular product. But I, I say that all to say that um, it, because we have the equipment, we're able to test. One of the one of the reasons I think most of the products out there are woefully low in concentration is. Uh, in the original study, again, the study where we provided the material, they used Erlenmeyer flasks. And those were the kind of the, the smaller triangular flasks. Um, and they would mix them with a magnetic stirrer and they mixed them for two weeks and they reached peak concentration at two weeks. And what we found is when you were mixing at larger volumes, it took longer. It takes longer. It took longer and continues to take longer than two weeks. It actually takes three weeks to get your full saturation. Uh, and so if you're a lab that doesn't have access, not a lab, if you're, you know, making this in your garage and trying to kind of upscale it and make it in a facility, you don't realize that you need to go from two weeks to three weeks to get maximum concentration. And I think that's true. I, I tend to be very altruistic I, I hope that companies aren't out there intentionally, by the way, the ESS-60 molecule, even if you're in purchasing industrial C60, is a very, very expensive molecule. I'm hoping that they're not you know, cutting back on the C60 to save some money and make some extra money. I'm just hoping that they're, they're using a two-week process and they don't realize they need to use the three-week process. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the, 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 the long and short of, of what goes on typically here at the lab. Well, I mean, and that study changed everything, didn't it? I mean, that's like the study on technologies that could potentially ex extend lifespan substantially. And can yeah, I say it, that? Am I allowed to say that? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it is. So so we'll talk about there's two pieces in that original study, right? So the study uh, was started five years prior and was published in 2012. 
Again, they thought it would be a tox it was supposed to be a toxicity study, right? Because on the exterior of this ESS60 cage, you have this shape that is reminiscent of benzene. Benzene is uh, uh, ubiquitous in our society, a necessary component of modern society. If you just look around your office and imagine everything plastic disappearing because the base of plastics is the benzene ring. Most detergents have a base of the benzene ring. Aspirin has the base of a benzene ring. So literally ubiquitous and a necessary uh, uh, molecule for modern society. A problem with benzene, though, is when it's on its own, not with, you know, change on it and not in the form of, of aspirin. When it's on its own, it's actually toxic and known to be a carcinogenic. So it causes cancer. So because that shape is repeated on the exterior of the soccer ball shaped molecule, ESS60, uh, they thought the molecule would be toxic. That's why they put it in this toxicity study. Uh, and instead of being toxic, the test subjects that they gave it to, again, it was Wistar rats, lived 90% longer than the control group. And again, that's the single longest longevity experimental result on mammals in history. And that's peer-reviewed published research. Our lab has mentioned in the study. Uh, our lab provided the material. Another key component of that study is that none of the Wistar rats had any tumors, right? So a Wistar rat it, it, it typically lives about 32 months and has a known amount of tumor mass in its body. The longer it lives, the more tumor mass it accumulates in its body. Even though the C60 Evo rats lived out to 62 months, so a full 90% longer, none of them had any tumors. Now, I tell the story to people regularly and they're like, oh, you cancer cure. And the answer to that is no, <laughs> no, that is not what we're saying. Because um, there's a big difference between managing a cancer that has metastasized and actually being a cancer preventative. We know things as simple as good nutrition, good sleep, good exercise, like your biking, are cancer preventatives. Um, what that piece of the study suggests is that we need to do a little bit more research uh, and that it has this potential to be a cancer preventative. All right. Hey, everybody. Rex Bear Leak Project. Another beautiful day today out here in Southern Colorado. And we have, back by popular demand, Chris Burrs, who is the chief scientist at C60 Evo, and Patty Greer, who is the CEO. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the latest updates, the latest information on this incredible molecule. I do want to give just a huge shout out, a quick shameless plug. So I am still, I literally did what I said I was going to do. I shaved my head at the beginning of the month. And I've been, but I'm using this stuff daily and it does seem to be coming back a little bit thicker in areas that didn't seem to be as like thinner before. So I appreciate that. And I'm also using the, um, the stuff for my skin because I've been getting a lot of sunlight with the bike riding that I've been doing. And this stuff seems to be getting rid of some of the sunspots. And I appreciate that. I just ran out of C60, Evo C60, because I just finished it up. Kristen has the pills in her Jeep because she takes them on the way to work every day. And we literally just moved to a new place out here um, on five acres. But just to show people, I want to put into perspective, um, I'm a pretty avid bike rider and I've got my numbers up. I mean, I'm not like Tour de France, 30 mile an hour average guy, but I'm averaging about 17 and a half to almost 20 miles an hour and uh, took a nice shot of uh, Evo C60 today before I hit the road. And if you look at these numbers here, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them but I averaged 17 and a half miles an hour, uh, 33 miles, uh, almost 800 feet elevation gain and top speed of 40.8 miles an hour. And to answer Patty's question, she asked me this off air, it is not an e-bike, it's a pedal bike. So <laughs> thank you. It's, it's a nice jolt. But what have you guys been up to? I have been recovering from two hip surgeries, faster than a speeding bullet. And I saw... Uh, one of the gentlemen that worked on me, like um, not a chiropractor, but uh, osteo guy. And he saw me coming down some stairs. Now he worked on me probably eight times last year. And he saw me hobbling with my sticks where with my poles, um, high, trekking poles, because I my hips were blasted. So he saw me just hobbling. And all of a sudden he sees me at a friend's, mutual friend's house he hears my voice. He sees my legs because I was behind my golf cart. And so um, he sees my legs and he's like, that couldn't be her. It sounds like her, but she's barreling down the stairs. Ba, 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 and she can't walk. So I come around and he goes, oh, my God, it's you. He was this is yesterday. It was just so great. I said, yes, yeah, me. I'm so glad to see you. 
And he said, you're walking. And I said, walking? You want to see me tango? So I was like dancing around the driveway. I did some spins. And he just kept saying, that's crazy. I've been doing this 40 years. I've never seen anybody recover that fast, that well. Are you pulling my leg? And I said, no, nah, that was me spinning just now in front of you. So I'm super happy with this product. And I take a lot of it, which is only a tablespoon a day. So that's not really a lot. That's just like a normal um, dose for people that take it seriously. Now, what do you take a day to do your huge bike rides? About a tablespoon, sometimes two, but sometimes mid-afternoon. I'll put in my coffee in the a.m. sometimes. And then during the day, if I have a smoothie, I've been doing the smoothie boom lately. And that's that's pretty cool. So I use the MCT for, for that. What's that? Use the MCT for the smoothie. I mean, actually, I've been using everything. I've, I've used the avocado. I've used the olive oil and I've used the MCT. I've used all three. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I take them all. It's it's not even a mood thing. It's like I love the MCT in my coffee. I love the avocado on a spoon, and I love the uh, uh, olive oil because it's the strongest by far on a spoon. So it's the easiest thing I've ever done to get energy. You don't have bad breath like coffee. You don't crash at 2 or 3 o'clock like coffee. Right. So I put it in my morning coffee, the MCT, and I am cooking with gas all day long. Mm -hmm. Chris, though, does all three. What do you, what's your sketch, Chris? Yeah, it, well, and and I think it's interesting before, you know, kind of through the history of bringing this product to market, uh, we tried not to get in the health supplement industry. We're very happy. I call us happy-go-lucky carbon nanomaterial scientists manufacturing uh, this ESS-60 molecule and delivering it to research institutions around the world. Uh, and then uh, I guess Patty started opening her mouth and then our phone started ringing 10 times a day uh, and we finally got into the market, um, really kind of the latter part of 2017. And I could I, really for probably nine months into 2018, if I got to the middle of the day and I was a little tired, maybe I felt like I needed a nap or an extra cup of coffee, I could always look back and I hadn't taken my C60 Evo that morning, right? So finally, I, well, I, got, I got smarter than myself and I said, we're going to add this to my coffee routine. Uh, and, and also was playing around with, there's a, a recipe called Bulletproof Coffee. Uh, which has is a high quality coffee with some MCT oil and some uh, uh, ghee, which is purified butter. Uh, and I pulled the ghee out, the purified butter out. I just don't want this, a lot of calories that I don't want. Uh, and so now what the, the routine is, I'm putting MCT in my coffee. That's water and oil, so they don't mix. So that's why that's blending. I'm actually doing about a teaspoon and a half of our olive oil product. Uh, and then I'm typically having a salad for lunch and I add about a tablespoon of our avocado product to uh, to my salads. And so now I don't get to the afternoon and I don't think that I'm, you know, I, I don't know, hey, I need a nap or hey, uh, I, I need an extra cup of coffee. In fact, when I'm doing shows, which normally would drain me, I will often do uh, a, a shot on the show, uh, which I could, I, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, you know what, I'm going to do one right now because this is, a, a, you know, I've done a number of shows today and it's a, it's good to have the energy. Um, but yeah, once I incorporate, incorporated it into my routine, um, now I don't have that problem. Cheers. Cheers. I don't want you to drink alone. You know, I mean, <laughs> cheers. I'm out. I'll get some more soon. I've, I've, I, can't, I probably can't shoot the stuff that's got um, advanced facial serum in it. <laughs> so you're, you are out of all three oils? Yes. Well, Kristen's got one in her Jeep and I took, yes. You, how long ago was it I saw you? Okay. Like, so we need to get you some more. You need to just thank you. let me know. And I we're will. always I happy to keep you stocked because I don't want you falling off your bike. I want to say something <laughs> about I don't want to, I want to say something about the hair product you mentioned, yes, which please. is C60 Evo Hair Renewal Duo. The reason it's in two bottles is the same reason that our incredible facial serum duo is also in two bottles. We have rules about C60 Evo, which is we avoid nasty chemicals and emulsifiers. So that's why you have two bottles that you have to freshly activate in your hand. But I'm re-mentioning it because I want to be sure you're doing it right, which is the maximum way to get benefits is um, the funniest thing is since I saw you, you've been doing the hair serum. Yes. And you're wearing a hat 
Yes. Should I take Dan it off? Dan Harris throwing at your face. I mean, I'm, it's like throwing at your face. You have I a know. Whole beard now. Well, you notice Chris's hair is taller than usual, and yeah. mine is longer. Okay. So um, I was inspired by Alfred Lambermont Weber, our 82-year-old influencer, whose hair is longer than the screen will show. Okay. And four years ago when we started with him, his hair was like a normal guy. And then it was here and there. Now you can't even see the bottom. It is so long at 82. He's writing volumes, novels, like crazy. My mom is 95. And Alfred and I talked about this two days ago because um, uh, sometimes when we start the show, he's a little bit, you know, a little, a little bit 82. So I said, Alfred, do me a favor. Your throat sounds hoarse. Take a shot of the olive oil and uh, moisturize your throat. And then the rest of the show, he was great. Perked him up, moisturized his throat, and then we were cooking with gas with the hair. So now I'm going to grow up my hair. I'm just letting you know. It looks like big fuzz because I've got big curly hair. And when I brush it, it just gets big. So it's going to be really fun to see if I can grow it long, which I haven't in 100 years. But uh, this formula that we take you know, on a spoon every day, it helps your nails, hair, skin, it, it helps everything, in my opinion. And that's why we've made facial serums, because anything we put the ESS-60 in, it works. <laughs> we have a lip balm that you use on your bike rides. Yeah. It works because it's got the ESS-60 in it and all these other lovely natural ingredients. So my bathroom counter used to have all these different things that had things I couldn't pronounce. Now it has the advanced facial serum. Like, this is so easy. This in the morning in my coffee, this on my skin, and now we have a new product because I only want to use our products, and we didn't have it yet. So now we've got our rich body cream with tangerine. Have you been uh, slathering with that? I put that on my arms and my elbows and my hands, and it's great. And Kristen's using it, too. That stuff's really good. And you smell so yummy. <laughs> Yeah. I love the scents that we use. Um, and some people don't like scent. So for the lip balm, we've got spearmint, which is just, you can smell it. You can taste it like for an hour. It's amazing. And we also have unflavored for people that don't like flavors. The body cream, if we had to do it unflavored, then I would just say, you know, go get another one because there's all kinds of unflavored. I wanted to do something spectacular where when you open the lid, and you sniff it, oh, you feel like that. The citrus and the tangerine energetically makes people happy. Like citrus kind of takes your mind to summer, and there's a natural homeopathic action, reaction to citrus. It makes us happy. Whereas there's certain damiana or herbs or flowers that make you sleepy. So um, I love doing my tea in the middle of the night. If I can't sleep, boom, sleep tea, gone till seven. So simplify and clean up our bodies is my MO. And people are getting concerned about supply chain. Like what if the mail stops? What if the UPS stops? What if Amazon stops? What if blah, blah, blah. All I can say is get the big bottle or get a dozen. Stock up right now while it's effortless. A uh, big bottle is 32 ounce. We have 16. We have eight ounce. But as long as you put it in a place out of direct sun and not next to a stove or oven that's hot, it's going to last for a few years. Now, you mentioned that Kristen has it in her car. Make sure it's not in the windshield because you don't want the caps to get direct sun. I told so her to keep it in the glove box. Great. Glove box, perfect. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and, no, and I know you guys, because I remember you had brought that up before about the sunlight thing, and that's really important. And also, I noticed that your bottles are like an amber color. They're dark, so it's blue. Cobalt blue. difficult yeah. for light to get in. I think that's smart. Um, you know, and I was actually, I was hoping today, while I have you both here, and, and I really am glad that I do, because I've had a lot of people that are also wondering about this evolution of C60, Evo C60, like the formula, the process. And just the the latest that you've uh, that you found out in the lab because you're you're in the lab you're you're making this stuff so what's what's up on the uh, the latest and greatest? 
Yeah. Um, well, it, it's not even not even that we're in the lab. Like we we are the lab. I think a, a lot of people don't realize. And 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 Patty has talked to you. Know, there's other companies, uh, really in the really we consider it industrial C60 ESS60 is for human consumption space that um, that you know talk about the study that talk about the 90 percent extension of life. We've been working with this molecule since 1991, right? And and you got to have perspective on this. This is a molecule. Uh, and, and by the way, this is what we're talking about. I'm holding up a model of a molecule. The molecule looks like a soccer ball where the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms. <clears throat> the molecule was discovered in 1985. And the three scientists here in Houston at Rice University and the three scientists who discovered it won the Nobel Prize in 1996. My lab started producing it in 1991. We are literally the oldest and longest manufacturers of this molecule on the planet. Um, so we are the foundation. And then you go uh, fast forward to the study. They actually, originally it was a toxicity study. They thought the molecule would be toxic. Instead of being toxic, the test subjects that they gave it to, in this case, it was Wistar rats, lived 90% longer than the control group. That was published mid-2012. My lab provided the material. My lab is mentioned in that study. So it really is the lab. If you want to talk about carbon-60, carbon-70, uh, nanotubes, you want to talk about ESS-60, you want to talk about not for human consumption, like uh, batteries, tires, photocells. If you want to talk about for human consumption, like ESS-60 and olive oil, MCT oil, avocado oil, we are the lab. <laughs> it's us. Now, didn't NASA do a study with the EVO-60, the ESS-60 molecule, in um, attempts to like block radiation? I, I don't remember if it was specifically NASA. I know that there's a publication out there uh, talking about uh, exposing rats to radiation, right? The kind of standard radiation. Um, I think in this case, it was gamma radiation. Um, and, and, and that has a negative impact. It actually increases inflammation. It causes um, uh, 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 kind of uh, um, uh, gene uh, mutations. Uh, so they actually gave rats the ESS-60 in olive oil, uh, I believe it was olive oil in that case also is at a minimum, it was another oil that the ESS-60 molecule dissolves in. And it was only those rats that got the ESS-60 that were uh, able to survive unscathed in those radiation studies. That's now, I want to cool. add that I escaped dying of uranium radiation after a human monster put some uranium in my garage to take me out in 2019, right before Chris and Robert met me. I've healed from that. And the detox was unbelievable for the first few months. I had to change my clothing every two hours because I was sweating poison. It almost killed me. He almost scored, but he didn't. And uh, if I wasn't taking this, I probably wouldn't be here to tell you about it. So I can't speak scientifically, Chris can, but I'm a human, not rat. I'm a human that also dispelled uh, radiation with this miracle molecule formula. So I can't say it's gonna work for anybody else because as you know, we're not allowed, but um, I take it and I feel extremely blessed. The um, HPLC machine that Chris was talking about, where we test the C60 or the ESS60 for concentration levels, high performance liquid chromatography. It's the only way you can test C60 for um, how much of it is really in this bottle. So when they tested 22 online brands, the words from the lab were woefully low. Like it was embarrassing what the other companies but they're not even doing ESS-60. So again, I'm not trying to negatively speak about other industries because we are the evolution of the C60 industry because we're the lab. We also make C60 at the lab and Chris and Robert sell it all the time to research institutions that can afford it. But C60 is more valuable than gold per ounce, always has been which is why these two smart college boys 33 years ago decided to come up with, we can do this. So they actually created the reactor machine that burns graphite rods at the heat of the sun. 
they're not just 33-year-old lab. They are the guys that made the reactor that makes C60 because you can't get enough of it in nature. It is a naturally appearing molecule, but there's not enough of it. And now that we know it's helping humans to feel so much better and think more clearly and sleep deeper. For me, it's about, you guys got bone joint uh, pain, bones and grinding and, you know, wearing out. Man, I uh, I scared the doctors that looked at my x-rays that I didn't choose to do my hip replacements this year because they were like, how did you do two, the last two years bone on bone and walking? How have you survived this? And I said, well, it wasn't that hard. And they said, no, that's not humanly possible because you've been bone on bone. You've actually ground down your right one another half inch. I shouldn't say that out loud, but I really went for it because I was so overly mega lubricated with my C60 Evo olive oil. Like this, the olive oil alone, never, never, never did I put a spoonful of oil in my body. But I started six years ago after I got hit with the directed energy weapon and I was semi-paralyzed. I got on the ESS-60 from their lab. And then four years later, Monster comes and puts uranium in my garage because I'm Patty Powerhouse. I will admit that my pillow even says, save, <laughs> save the world. <laughs> I've got like superwoman because the product makes me feel this way. I mean, every doctor that you go to or any kind of thing that's not natural, the first thing they ask on their little questionnaire is, are you depressed yet? Has our system affected you? Are you depressed yet? I'm so sick of those questions because it's like, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. So as I look around, people are like, come on, what are you doing? How are you staying so chipper? Aren't you like worn out? It's like, well, put this in my coffee in the morning and put the stuff on my face and rub it on my skin and put it on my lips. I'm, I am so wound. Plus I did a spoonful before the other show and before yours. So I'm like, hoo, hoo, I'm going to have to go jog or something with my new hips. Yeah. I'm oh, really biking, Patty. Come on. I, I'm not all excited about biking. I want to <laughs> use every muscle, but biking does. But see, my question to you was, oh, is it an e-bike? You know, <laughs> that's where my brain goes. You know, I got my new glamper. I was thinking an e-bike, but I have to be mindful. You know, I'm 71, but I feel 40 again. This stuff's crazy. This stuff is crazy. And I think the more friends that I share samples with that order the next day, it's happened twice this week. I'm just like, see, I mean, it's like um, I'm wearing a flag shirt because I don't want to have to talk about it. I just want to wear it. So everywhere I go, it's like, mm -hmm. remember, remember to be kind, remember to be proud, remember to honor. But it's because I'm always in a good mood lately and I'm not a drunk. I'm not a drug addict. I'm on Evo. I'm an Evo addict. And uh, that's a brag I've never said before, but I can't tell you how great it is. And for people that spend all kinds of money every month on a line of supplements, all these bottles, and I did that for decades. And now my supplements are sitting in those white Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like for two months now. All I want is Evo. And if I get tired at all, which I don't, I'll just do a shot halfway through the day. But I recommend you do it noon or before because it gives you so much energy, I want to sleep at night. So a lot of people like Chris can do a cup of coffee and a shot of Evo at night. The only way I would ever recommend Evo at night for my body or people that are sensitive like me is if you're having a really good party night and you know you're going to be hung over as crap in the morning. And I'm not saying go, you know, do this. But if you did, you want to do a shot of Evo at bed. And you're going to wake up feeling a whole lot less pain. Hard workout, same thing. Do your Evo before, you're going to feel a lot better after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the recovery That's times, right. huge difference. And, and one of the things that I wanted to ask you also, I'm glad you brought this up. I, I, was, I was hoping you could both talk about this, is the, um, the hangover thing. So why does it seem to work so well um, to offset the hangover like what's up with that 
Yeah, I, I think there's a number uh, of potential mechanisms at work here. So, um, you know, our most consistent testimonial is people take the product in the morning, they report mental focus and energy during the day, and then better sleep that night, right? So if you just improve the little amount, you know, usually if you're having lots of drink, there's less sleep and and it's usually a low quality sleep. If you can improve the quality of that sleep and, and uh, how deeply you sleep, then that's going to have a positive impact. So I think that's one. Uh, to go back to that original study, um, one component, at one point, our director of research, uh, who is a former practicing gynecologist, uh, came out, came over to me and he said, listen, there's this, this paper, right, this amazing uh, Bati Paris University study uh, where the test subjects live 90% longer, um, could have been five different studies, right? So we talk about the longevity piece. Uh, we talk about the anti-tumor piece. Uh, there's another piece where they injected these rats with carbon tetrachloride. Uh, that's a highly oxidative agent that really uh, uh, operates inside the liver. The only rats that were able to recover from that carbon tetrachloride injection, it's a poison, um, were the ones that were given the ESS-60 in olive oil, right? And if you think classically, what is the what is the organ that's involved in processing the alcohol? It's your liver. Uh, and so it's not surprising to me that we have protective effects on the liver and we have this protective effect when it comes to uh, people who, who imbibe a little bit too much. We do need to be careful uh, about hangover. So we're not making claims about hangovers. We can talk about sleep. That's okay. Uh, and a great time to interject. The FDA has not evaluated our product. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease. I, I think it's right on the edge, right? And we have the disclaimer, and and, and I, I think one of the things that we share regularly, we have anecdotes. Um, just assume the anecdotes won't happen for you. Look into the research and see if stuff in the research, not any particular testimonial about worse uh, or, or better hangovers. Uh, don't don't listen to that. Look at the research and see if that makes sense for you. And then we'd love for you to report back to us what you notice. Right on. Right on. And in finishing, are there any specials or any opportunities that people could take advantage of right now when they go to the website? Absolutely. What do we you have? can always get 20% off when you sign up for a monthly subscription. Then you don't even have to think about it again. But if you don't love it, call us, send us an email. We'll cancel you immediately. You don't even have to give us an excuse. But to save 20% on every order really helps. And no matter what you buy, you're going to use the code at the bottom of this uh, link. Uh, to use uh, to get another 10% off at checkout. So 20% off for subscriptions, 15% off if you buy a pair of items, which is uh, inside and out. So you buy the oil that you're going to take on a spoon and the facial serum. That's a set. Uh, we have pet lover sets, one for you, one for your dog, one for your cat, one for you. And those are 15% off again. Use uh, the code at checkout for Leak Project, and you'll save another 10%. The biggest discount, which um, considering who knows how long UPS and uh, the mail people will be running uh, with this strange stuff in the air, but we also <laughs> recommend you buy a case or a large bottle. And um, a lot of our items that when you go to checkout, if you buy two, you're going to be offered a third one at half off. So, um, yeah, let's see what's on your store is the olive oil, which is our best seller, four ounce, eight ounce, 16 ounce, 32 ounce, and also the capsules that your wife likes because they're great for travel, uh, put in your suitcase or a uh, purse. They're just, you know, easy for travel, the capsules, whereas it might be risky to put a bottle of oil in your purse. So um, there's the oil. And again, the option below, 20% less if you sign up for a monthly. Now we've got the Youth Renew Duo, which is the two-part um, facial serum. And the reason for that is because you have to activate in your hand like the hair serum. And... Uh, Great results. Now, here's an inside and out set. <laughs> You're moving so quick. The inside and out set is 15% off because you've got two items there. So um, that's the big one, the eight ounce bottle. It's cheaper if you get the four ounce inside and out set, 
So four ounce or eight ounce, you can get either one. And uh, when you do it inside and put it on your skin on the outside, you're going to get a lot better results. Uh, I don't know why it's such a saturation. But uh, what we have there is the C60 Evo Rich Body Cream with Tangerine. It smells so good and it stays on all day long. And we've had nobody say that they get sunburned with it. We don't put sunscreen in, but there are natural uh, seeds and oils and uh, different things in there that create a lovely formula that somehow has been protecting skin really well. We're hearing the face serum also uh, is great for that. I can attest to that. So absolutely. And my arms, like, uh, like today I was wearing a long sleeve and I went biking, but you know, I mean, I, I can get a ton of sun. Like you, you just blast me with sun. I am a Leo, but combine that with the Evo 60. It's like, Oh, so I really appreciate you guys. I'm, I'm so happy for this. And I'm so happy that, that you guys are making such great products. I've got so many friends and family that have said the same thing that I've shared the products with. They love them and they've purchased them through you guys. I appreciate the discounts. Chris, I really appreciate you sharing the, the actual nuts and bolts with us. And Patty, I love how you share your testimony. You look fantastic, by the way. You look awesome. Keep up the Thank good you. work. Like you said, you're uh, you're 39 going on 40. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. 39 forever. Like Chris. Chris is doing gosh, Chris, that too. hairline, dude. Come on. <laughs> up it goes. His goes up. Mine comes down. Yours grows in. Working on it. Um, We're having Chris, a hair party. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Do you want to share anything else with us before we finish up this awesome podcast? And thanks again. No, that was good. Thank you so much, Rex. We appreciate you and and sharing this with your audience and uh, and and happy to be working with you. Thank you. Chris, good to thanks, see you. Thanks, Rex. Thank you. Thanks, Patty. Stay well, everyone. Be the change.